What's up, guys? It's your boy Dark Light coming right back at you, beautiful people, y'all. We're going to tease some D. Gray Man well on night 150. Well, chapter 159. I don't know why I'm saying night. Like, it is, I'm reading it every night. But we're on chapter 159. Now, in all honesty, there's really nothing much with this one. Looks like it's going to be one of those filler kind of. If it was an episode, it was probably one of those fillers. But we're going to get into it anyway. So, yeah, the night the shop starts off. We are basically catching up with Crory. Crory wakes up on a stormy night, basically. Um, he looks like he's been brutal. I mean, he does have a, a left arm. He's chained down to the bed. He looks terrible. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, he wakes up. He's like, he doesn't know what's going on. He, he, he's in pain. He's crying. He's panting. He's calling for everybody. Uh, all he can remember is he got into a fight with those twin noise and you know he just can't remember nothing else. Then suddenly somebody appears. It's not Ellie all day, don't look like it. But it's like somebody appears in the night and he's he's uh getting more worried. Then there's he noticed there's some bottles on the ground. Looks like in looks like somebody's died through poison or something in the manga. Hey, we're back, y'all. Sorry about that. Son came and asked for asking for some something to drink, so he told me he can get something to drink. But anyway, we're gonna continue. But yeah, Carl is just in shambles, and all of a sudden there's a photo with like somebody dressed. A bottle on the ground, somebody chained up on the ground in the mouth. And next you know, you hear the name Lavin out. Well, see the name, read the name Lavin out. Were is Corey having a bad dream? Is he having a nightmare or something? Or somebody playing with his brain? Because he, like I said, he's been out for a while. We haven't seen much about him. But now it's pretty much goes on. We're basically moving now. Everybody's doing that transfer. But we get to a point, we notice Alan has fell asleep. Just like all the scientists does when they working. But it looks like they're moving all the science stuff first. Books and notes and all of that are getting transferred. And Alan falls asleep. He knocks over a book. Reva tried to save the day, but he wakes up in shock. Now it was a bottle, a bottle of a hair tonic, and you know Alan comes out worried. Next you know, Alan comes out worried. I'm mean, pretty much he has long hair. He looks like Conda in a way. Actually, no, he looks like General Cross. He had, yeah, he has long white hair now, along with Tim Canby, which is very funny weird but yeah I didn't find out his hair tonic and Common gave it a bar for his birthday I get to help him get his hair back or something if he loses it or whatever I don't know the science the, the science uh man is there just weird the science guy come up with the most weird just some stuff and basically as I read that they yeah old man got bunny ears bookman got bunny ears and stuff and Around the town up. I mean, uh, Alan has hair. I think like, yeah, Alan is kind of cool. He need to keep his hair. So they continue packing and stuff. But yeah, Alan looks kind of cool with long hair. Dan Tim Campy, he looks weird. He looks super weird. I think, like, really? Yeah, they made him look like a female. I'm like, okay, is Tim Campy a male or female? That's weird. But then Alan and talk says ask uh, Link why he didn't wake him up. He pretty much said that's not his job. So we go on. It's a continuation of stuff being moved. Now there's uh they're just doing they're just pretty much moving everything and all of that. Now we get to a point. Alan is talking with uh Combo. 
how we're trying to figure out what are the requirements so they can be able to control art. Well, basically, he knows, but, you know, they want to know the song. Alan can't basically is saying it's gross because he it's like it's been implanted in his head. He never just took his time to learn it. So I guess that a point that was he was he was pretty much chosen a long time ago, or was it just at a time? Well, in my mind, it's basically saying that was the fourteenth of him from time to time out of child. That's why he can't remember because if it's a part of the 14th and the 14th lives in him, but he knows that he was he was learning that at one point in time. Was does that mean Mana knew exactly who the next 14th person was who was gonna be awakened as the 14th? So he was actually talking or was that at times Alan was like on it as a child, he's already weak. So, was he zoning out to be the 14th and 14th was communicating with Mama? That's probably why Mama stayed around. Or was he feeling the same thing to the point where he was enjoying both Alan's company and his brother? You know what I mean? But yeah, Alan is worried about it. He don't know what to do. Basically, he's like, this is... Uh... Well, let me go back. Conway is trying to explain to Alan that if the science department can figure some stuff out, this is going to be the most powerful asset, that weapon they can have on their side. But Alan, like I said, Alan's in a way where he, he really just is gross. He can't really explain it. He really can't even tell him what the music is. So he's in a way where it's, he needs to talk to talk to, to his master with the cross. He need to figure he need to figure some something, something out. You need to ask him a question like, can he continue trusting mom or is it okay? You know, he, he's going through, Alan does a lot of beating himself up when he don't have an answer. But basically, he, he loves him so much, so there's nothing much there. And so he, he can't figure himself out. Then we pretty much go into a point. Some in, Another incident happens. Now we got uh, Bookman's meowing and Linda Lee's meowing. He has bunny ears. He's worried about his hair. Another little incident happened. Now it's just going crazy. It's just going crazy. It, it's weird. It seems more like a filler. But now in the process, they start in the process of moving everything. They notice they were hearing sight. Trying to figure out what the sounds are, and Marie can't pinpoint it because the power, the power in the order has went out. So Conway, pretty much being a fool, he don't know what's going on. Everybody think it's just Conway playing tricks, but Marie said he can't pinpoint it, so it's not Conway. Everybody and everybody else is pretty shook, they're spooked because they think there's a ghost or something in there, and pretty much. Door creaks open and cuts off. So, which I have a feeling I think I know who it is. It's probably gonna be Crawley just waking up from his long slumber. He'd be like a, a vampire and having a long snap nap. <laughs> oh boy! But yeah, this is more like a, just a feeling. I think it's more just gonna be funny for the next couple of chapters. So, but yeah, there's not much to say about this one. So. Uh, I will probably just have to catch y'all in the next video. Cheerio.